into the war table. I see we still have a tend Mornay's execution up there to remind us. We have to run off after Blackwall, wherever he's gone. To the courtyards of Valroyo, perhaps. Let's see if anyone needs a mission first here. Get the boring thing out of the way first. Political intrigue, hardly boring, you say? Well, I agree with you. But we'll still get it out of the way. <laughs> welcome, welcome. So nice to be adventuring again. All right. The Voldorma nobleman should no longer get in our way. Once my agents explained the situation to him, he was quite content to step away. The Enderfell's blacksmith's weapon designs are ours. Are ours. Thank you, Leliana. I appreciate that. Thanks for this pyrophyte, Colin. Big, uh, big important job. Don't you feel put out. That's uh, world-ending stuff, my friend. Good for you. All right, jumping over to Ferelden. Josephine, what have you been up to? Sister Liliana, our agents entered Lord Enzo's home, where they discovered several pieces of correspondence connecting Enzo to the Venatori. Worse, it seems Enzo did more than buy into their philosophy. He has been arranging to send volunteers to Red Lyrium Mines. As they took these people from Rialto's poorer, more unfortunate residence, few noticed the disappearances. Well, that's sad. Our agents were prepared to confront Enzo with the evidence, but he failed to return. We have since learned that he hired a ship to Hercinia in the Free Marches. It seems unlikely that Enzo knew of our presence, but something spooked him. Perhaps ghouls. Mason. Leliana has written a note below. Have our agents track Lord Enzo to the Free Marches. His work for the Venatori must not continue. Let us pray the trail does not run cold. Leliana. All right, so we have another step. An offer from the crows. All right, so Leliana would cooperate with the Antiven crows as it works to our advantage. They have more knowledge of Enzo, and we gain contacts should we need their assistance in the future. The crows are, are an unfortunate reality of Antiven politics. They will pursue the contract regardless. We may as well know where they are. Do we really want to get tangled up with the crows? Our people can handle this. So this sounds like a job for uh, Leliana, who will get two sides of advantage. Let's Go for it. Her. Arcanist and the Fade. This was something that Dagna brought up last time when we uh, were talking about our time physically spent in the Fade. Sounds like we just need to get her some samples. And anyone can do it. Uh, hopefully wouldn't matter either way. Let's go ahead and have our own people do it. But I don't want to... Like, is this just saying he'll go back to Adamant Fortress and scour the battlefield for samples? Maybe that's all any of us can do. An official request. Let's let's catch up. The Inquisitor has suffered exposure to the Tears of the Veil. To the Tears of the Veil? I don't know. And the Energy of the Fade. To properly help her endure these forces, I need to understand them. I need samples, I need remnants, I need to see. If it pleases, I request the resources for a grand experiment to peer through the Veil, or as far as I can. It's an expensive investment, I know, but it's necessary, and it's only fair. I need to see. I wrote that twice. It's very important to me. All right, thank you, Dagna. So yeah, let's save that uh, f because Leliana just says she'll have what she needs, and that's what I want. I want her to have anything she needs to pull this off. So we'll save that one for Leliana. Revenge of the Merchants Guild. Only Josephine can do it. That sounds like a mission for Josephine. Send the letter to Denerim. Getting this cipher will help Liliana find the killer. So this must be like towards the end of our uh, hard in high town, a Varric novel quest. Josephine, Inquisitor. don't fail us now, as if that's possible. All right. 
So we did want Liliana for that one. Check if there's anything over here. Otherwise, we'll just send uh, our friend Cullen back out. Blackmail them. Send them information kindly. Sell the information to an enemy. Let's see what the what the scoop is. Dorian has completed his research using the Liberalum and believes he has found a connection between Corypheus and an ancient magister named Sethius of House Amladaris. This will be difficult to prove and may be of limited use, but it's worth noting that House Amladaris still exists. Even the accusation that Corypheus and Sethius are the same person would be worthy of a scandal in Tevinter, one that the current members of that family might be desperate to avoid. Hmm. Yeah, I find myself wanting uh, wanting Leliana for every mission. That's a sort of personal flaw of mine, I guess. Darkspawn protection. Surely this could be a, a Cullen mission. Yes. Let us send our Grey Wardens. To work? All right. Everyone has a job to do. Now we can get back uh, back to it. Thank you for bearing with me. And hello there in the chat. I'm glad you're taking a break. And hello, hello. How is my uh, sound, if I may impose on you? I'm trying a slightly different headset configuration here. And I'm hoping to be with you all. <laughs> in audio form. All right, I think we can probably head right out for uh, Blackwall's big execution day. Hooray, hurrah, let's see what's going on with that. Who should we take with us? Oh, thank you, sounds good. Who should we take with us to Val Royo, who would enjoy uh, some Blackwall drama? Every time I think drama, I think Vivian. It's pretty hard to pass up. Sarah to make saucy comments. And, uh, Iron Bull. That's a classic. I very much hope everyone's respective day is going alright. It's been a bit of a long one for me. Many, uh, many issues with recording of the clanky, bangy, upstairs variety, etc. But we'll get through it. I'm taking a small break, lest I strain my brain. I'm going to attempt to turn on a small fan. I'm, I'm forewarning you now, if you hear tempestuous, windy noises, do let me know. That is not my intention. Ooh, thank you very much for listening. I need to check which one that was. Was it uh, Gaslight that just came out? Speaking of no sleep appearances, if, if the future is curious, thank you very much for listening to said appearances. I'm going to save this just in case something goes funky with Blackwall. Don't want that. All right. And here we go. So lovely every time to be in Valeroyal. Despite the rather macabre uh, event. For the murders of General Vincent Callier, Lady Lorette Callier, their four children, and their retainers, you are sent to the children from the neck until dead. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Very well. So we're just waiting for Blackwall to turn up, right? Look at all these people. I thought we were more civilized than this. Poor bastard. So, where's food? Orlesians always stock these things. Ugh. <laughs> That's all she's here for. Proceed. 
Never super comfortable with being in the crowd for an execution that is carried out. I'm cool with being in the crowd for an execution that's not carried out. Orders were given and he followed them like any good soldier. He should not die for that mistake. Then find me the man who gave the order. Blackwall. No, I am hey, not buddy. Blackwall. I never was Blackwall. Warder what? Is dead and has You've been, been deceiving years. me this whole time. I had no suspicions. I his name to hide like a coward from who I really am. You, after all this time. It's over. I'm done hiding. I gave the order. The crime is mine. I am Tom Rainier. So you're Tom Rainier. This whole time I've been reading about you. And your little cheeks must have been crimson with shame. Your little ears all a tickle with me talking about I don't know what the what the euphemism is. Oh, well, that's uh quite the revelation. It's a lovely song to sing while you're being hung apparently. Oh yes, I'm so sorry. I must be off time. The TV in the woods was the most recent one that went out. And that one was amazing. I've really enjoyed that. That's sort of my jam, those Surreal, can't quite be explained, uh, woodsy experiences. I love that. that Alright, apparently he's in a cell off this way somewhere. Oh, Tom. Please, calm Friend Tom, would you spare a moment? Val Royal Prison, welcome. Oh, thank you. I don't mind if I do. Well, hello there. So nice to see you all. Welcome, welcome. I'm sorry to welcome you right into a fancy Orlesian prison, but here we are. That's what you get for associating with me. How could you? After all the warnings. Pardon me as I sip coffee out of the side of my mouth. That's not for you. That's not intended to send any sort of secret message. I'm just... Give me a moment. Mm. Oh, now, having drawn attention to it, of course, I have to put some sort of secret message inside. And we're going down. Goodness, we're dapper, aren't we? Well, keep being a good guard, and I'll come back out this way, maybe give you a treat later. I've got bread scraps. Who wants them? Who wants some bread scraps? There's a good black wall. No, 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 no. I didn't take Blackwall's life. I traded his death. He wanted me for the wardens, but there was an ambush. Darkspawn. He was killed. I took his name to stop the world from losing a good man. But a good man. That's admirable. The man he it's was. Sort of a felony. Wouldn't have let another die in his place. Oh, I don't care that you lie to me. I'm lying to all of you. That's fine. That's that's what friendship is all about. I I commend you, Blackwall. Because had you not taken over, you you just would have wasted his his whole legacy and name. No, I actually do think that he was commendable for turning it around like he did. That, that took courage. Courage. I killed innocent people. Destroyed Mornay's life and the lives of others like him. One moment of courage will not make up for that. But the rest of your lifetime. Why are you here? Mm. Perhaps. I just care about you. Is that an option? I, I'm here to make sure that you're emotionally okay with the solitude and damp conditions. I needed you to know you aren't alone in this. Don't you understand? I gave the order to kill Lord Callier, his entourage, 
and I lied to my men about what they were doing. Why'd when you do that? Light, I ran. Those men, Why'd you feel like you had to do men, that? Paid for my treason while I was pretending to be a better man. This is what I am. A murderer, a traitor, a monster. You are pathetic. And then leave. Turn on your heel. No, what a terrible ending. I know you're more than what you say. Have some faith in yourself. And eat these bread scraps, for goodness sake, you're hangry. I'll bring you some cheese. Uh, I just wanted to bother you to say I have to go. Let's check. So, so, uh, uh, t t tell me more about yourself, buddy. Who were you before this mess? The real you. I was a captain in the Olesian army. Well regarded, respected. But it wasn't enough. One mistake. One mistake and everything I worked for fell apart. I need to know about Blackwall. The real Blackwall. We met in a tavern when I was on the run. I was nothing. A waste of life. But he wanted to Feel free to speak up a bit, guys. I'm not. Uh, for the joining. I don't think anyone's going to overhear us. A stop along the way. An old ruin from one of the previous blights. He said it led to the deep roads. I was to go down alone, find a dark spawn, and fill a vial with its blood. When I returned, I found the warden ambushed by more of the creatures. He took a blow for me. He shouldn't have died. It should have been me. was a heroic act, stepping between you and a dark spawn. That doesn't help him much. He, he would have wanted me to carry on to Valshavan, I'm certain. But without Blackwall, there's no proof that I've been recruited. That I didn't kill him. I couldn't go to the Wardens. But I couldn't just walk away. So, Rainier died. Blackwell You've been died. tipsily walking the fence of risk, I see. For quite some time. That must have weighed heavily on you, Blackwall. Well, let's get you out of this pickle, and then we'll go talk about it over a hearty brew. How's that sound? Oh, Cullen, do we have any military have power any here? Report on Tom Rainier. God, I knew just where to stand to accent these cheekbones, didn't I? Mmm. Mm. All right, thank you. This is helpful, or at least educational. Don't blame yourself. We all made this mistake. <sighs> what do we do now? And we knew he'd be honest with us eventually. Renier it was more of a plan than a mistake. But you don't have to. We have resources. If he's released to us, you may pass judgment on him yourself. Out of curiosity. If it were up to you, what would happen? What he did to the men under his command was unacceptable. He betrayed their trust, betrayed ours. I despise him for it. And yet he I can see how you feel that way. Joined the Inquisition, gave his blood for our cause. And the moment he shakes off his past, he turns around and owns up to it. Why? Some part of you is impressed by what he did, isn't it? Saving Mornay the way he did took courage. I'll give him that. But I can't tell you what to do. No, oh, he comes with us. Have Rainier released to us. We Thank must you. Move quickly. We can explore our options back at Skyhold. All right. Thank you all. We appreciate you. And you. And you. And... Uh, did, did I not just... Quest objective up there. Order the advisors to find a way to release Rainier from prison. Uh, okay. I'm going to do a bit of a trust fall into the darkness, assuming that is what has happened. Even though the objective did not clear. Catch me! Oh! 
Oh, there's broken glass. <laughs> oh, it's, it's that part of the day. Where I make up stupid scenarios in my own head that make my back hurt and my tummy chuckle. It's that part of the day. Now somebody get the tweezers. This is excruciating. All right, still hasn't cleared. Do I go back to Skyhold and just hope and hope? Is that what happens? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. I would feel a lot more comfortable if that optional objective was gone and it said return to Skyhold to speak with Cullen. I'm just going to do that and uh, again, we're trust falling into the darkness. Hold my hand. For the love of all that's holy, don't hold my back. I, c I can't handle any... Two streams in one day. No, you're imagining things. Go back to bed. Clearly you're hallucinating. Stop it. <laughs> you silly. St get out of here. But welcome back at the same time. Get out, but welcome back? I'm sending some very confusing messages. I'm sorry. Oh, goodness, I hope this works. Take pity on me, Colin. Love me. Love me, Colin. With your actions and deeds. Not necessarily anything steamy. Unless you're into that. Okay, we're moving on. Any time now, we're moving on. I can feel it coming. Ah, there be a shift in the breeze. Still has not cleared. Ugh. Ugh. The concern, it wells within me. Like a pool of children's tears. There is no judgment to be had. Okay. Uh, maybe it's at the war table? Is that is it like a thing that I missed coming up along the side? Did they release Rainier? Let's check. Oh my goodness, are there tamales out there? Are there tamales floating around in my reality? That's amazing news. I'm really quite excited. Alright, with your knowledge of the Venatori and the Crow's intelligence on Enzo, I tracked down a storehouse just outside the city. I hope you didn't want us to leave any of the Venatori alive. Uh, sadly, Lord Enzo was not present, but he may count his life in days, if not minutes. To show we respect our current arrangement, an interesting trinket from our raid on the Venatori. Thank you. Okay... We wanted Liliana for this, did we not? She'll have what she needs, yes. Jumping back over here. I, I do not see what I would... Oh, Tom Rainier's fate. Hooray, I do see what I am looking for. If you think it worthwhile, we can have Tom Rainier, previously known to us as Blackwall, released from the Valroyo prison in which he awaits justice. Keep in mind, Inquisitor, that he is wanted in Orlais for the massacre which claimed the lives of Lord Vincent Callier, general and staunch ally of Céline, and all of Callier's family. I leave this in your hands. So if we get him out of Hawk, it's a political issue. Hey, you can't just... Your friend did a naughty boo-boo. What do you... This is corruption. But uh, he is one of our scant party members and a member of our family. And he's trying his best, darn it. He's trying his very best. Sure, he's made mistakes. I'll never forgive him. But uh, if not now, when? 
All right, so let's see how, how we would handle it. Politically, I can request a special dispensation from the Elysian throne, allowing Tom Rainier to be transferred to Inquisition custody. This may anger some, but after Halam Sharal, they owe us a favor. So that's eh, not too bad. Swing and a miss. Two problems, one solution. There was a traitor to our cause, a man similar in build and appearance to Rainier. We bind and gag him, have him take Rainier's place. He's condemned instead, and the world believes Rainier's paid the price. That's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's a little shady. I really appreciate where your head's at, Leliana. Thank you. Thank you for that. Or we can storm the prison with a small force and take Rainier into custody. Val Royal's prison guards will oppose us, and we should prepare for casualties. Cullen, get out. How dare you suggest this? Let's try, uh... Yeah, you owe us a favor. Yeah, yeah that'll be fine. Okay. The dispensation came, few questions asked. What passed in Halam Sharal is fresh in their minds. Rainier awaits your judgment. Thank you, Josephine. That's exactly what we needed. All right, let's knock this out of play. Thanks, Cullen. We have to find a source of the Darkspawn attacks. Let's see. Let the Wardens spread out, scour the area. They'll find out where those Darkspawn are coming from. Yeah, that should be fine. Right. Okay, judgment time. Morrigan, would you like to watch? Would you like to sit beside the throne and... I don't know, eat grapes? You don't have to feed me the grapes, that'd be weird. But you can eat grapes and the throne will be better for it, is all. If you're hungry. I, it's just an offer. Alright, our dear friend Blackwall requires our attention. Let us not delay. Oh, this is going to be so restful for my cheeks. Oh, thank goodness for this. For judgment this day, Inquisitor. That's the stuff! I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. Oh, did you liquor him up? Why is he stumbling so much? Crimes, Tom, straighten up. Well, it's a serious day. Of his crimes. It was no small expense to bring him here. But the decision of what to do with him is now yours. Hmm. What say you, Blackwall? I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. What did you have to do to release me? Josephine called in a few favors. There are enough people out there who owe the Inquisition. And what happens to the reputation the Ambassador has so carefully cultivated? The world will learn how you've used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. Ah, oh, no, it's gonna be fine. It's... Uh, it's... I, w I wanted you back where you could be safe in the barn, where we make you sleep without a bed on the ground like a... you know... like one of those barn animals. Suddenly it's all becoming clear. Uh, I don't want to tell him I had no choice. That's silly. Uh, this will be forgotten eventually. In a thousand years or so, when we're all dead. Once the world is That's back true. To normal, no one will even remember this. I'll remember. I accepted my punishment. I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me now? Everybody's so... Uh, so eager to pay for their crimes by never doing anything ever again. Just like, punish me, send me away, I've given up on life. It's like, no, this is where it begins. You've just begun to notice that you have been a bad person, and now is the fun stuff. Now's the good part. Keep him in servitude, that sounds sad. Give Rainier to the Wardens. Uh, the Wardens will decide. Free him to make amends for his crimes. Blackwall. You're uh, still a member of the family, if you so choose. You have your freedom. Yeah. It cannot be as simple as that. We already created a big political mess, so why not? You're free to atone as the man you are, not the traitor you thought you were or the warden you pretended to be. The man I am. I barely know him. But he... I... have a lot to make up for. 
And you'll start with the dishes. If my future is no, I'm enough, kidding. You probably have more important things to do. To the I'll do the dishes. My sword is yours. If I'd said anything less, would an arrow from the rookery have snuffed me like a candle? Take your oh, yeah, definitely. Tom Rainier. <laughs> Okay. He'll, uh, he's already earned my trust back, but he'll have to earn it for himself as well. It'll happen. I have every confidence. Let's go see if he has anything, uh... Oh, what's the word? Anything to say. <laughs> Closing arguments. There it is. It's too late now. We've, we've gone past it. While I'm in Skyhold, I should check some of our new uh, superb armor schematics, see if there's anything pretty we should get our hands on. Inquisitor. Besides Blackwall, do you want me to call you Tommy Boy? T -t 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 Thomas? T -t Tomas? How do you want to handle this? How shall I refer to you? Rainier or Blackwall? I've gotten used to Blackwall. Perhaps we could treat it as less of a name and more of a title. Almost like Inquisitor. Reminds me of what I ought to be. All right, you ought to be a black wall. That's fine. Everyone needs something to aspire to. Exactly. I'm glad you understand. Thanks for uh, hanging around. We'll we'll no talk again right. soon. Perhaps in a bit. I love you. Bye for now. All right. So let's briefly head to the Undercroft which always seems like a saucy secret to say aloud, but is really just a very normal room necessary to castle operations. Let's not uh, make a big deal out of it, really. Not sure why you brought it up. Are you trying to start something? What What's this? Alright, so glad we should have our whole set back, and I think everyone who had a red card has had their mood improved. Is this where I need to be? No. I've been rambling. No. <laughs> to the Undercroft. This is where, had I a butler, I would force him to reside, I guess. Alfred Morty! Oh, I'm so in pain. Emotionally and otherwise. Oh, no, stay in the basement. I'm ashamed of you, old man. What a weird life. Weird life he lives. Okay, let's sell, uh, sell any of this that we don't... These are all kind of legendary, crazy cool weapons that I need to get into Cole's hands, and then I should sell everything. Everything they don't need. For right now, just this, and then uh, let me check. What I'd like to check first, we should have plenty of inventory space, is craft armor. Craft armor, there we go. So what are some of these new light armors? Alright, so that's the one we have now. 240 is pretty hard to beat. You just love that long coat, though. Eventually, we're going to have to get one of those. Hmm, so nothing, like, outstanding. I was thinking maybe these superb recipes would be a little more eye-catching, but maybe there's just nothing new in light armor. I'm not sure. I guess it must just be giving me, like, increasingly advanced levels of the DLC armors we started off with. Like, the first one was Avar and Stonebear, and now they've given us superb of the same thing. So it must not necessarily be new aesthetic armors I have to keep checking. It's probably just multiple upgraded ahem, Exhibit A. Here we go. So that makes more sense. I shouldn't need to worry about it too much. We'll keep looking for legendary items. Okay, while I'm down here, though, and everyone is in the castle with me, let's do a weapon pass. 
That's the wrong menu. All right, let's do a weapon pass. Iron Bull. Goodness, I always make that mistake. All right. He has a 192. Anything we can replace it with? Nah. Apparently he doesn't want the dark spawn sickle, so no. 153, blah, blah, blah. All right. Who's next? Varric? Varric has Bianca. I really need to upgrade Bianca. Let's see here. Would that be... Here, modify weapons. Let's try this out. Maybe it can't be equipped. Sorry, Varric. Let me part you from this, only temporarily. Bianca, unequip, and all right, let's check it. Bianca. Okay, so we have a Bianca Arms 3 that's already in there, I guess. No other upgrades available. All right. What a shame. <laughs> extra damage versus demons. Extra damage versus living. Extra damage versus corrupted. Might as well throw a demon slaying rune in there for our friend. Sure. Demon slain Bianca. All right, so that is mm, the tiniest bit upgraded, but we still need an aim and a grip upgrade. So, Varric. Oh, lovely, we finally completed advanced crafting. Crafting? Crafting. We're not in the Epsilon program. All right, let's throw this back in his hands. As it is ever so important. A little bit upgraded. Hurrah. Who's next? Soulless. He's got a 60. Yikes. Sorry, buddy. We'll get you a better one. <laughs> That's a shame. Keep that in mind. All right, is this Vivian? Yes, she has a 73. I just don't have any stabs right now. That's a shame. We'll come back around to mages. Cole, here we go. Cole has daggers. It's a 249, 213s. Let's go one of these. And this. All right. Black Wall. I kind of want Cassandra to have the Avenger. That just seems right somehow. I'll give him a dark spawn shield. That makes sense. And these are all like two-handed, aren't they? Now that's one-handed. A nice mace for 125. That's two-handed. 127. Yeah, I want him to have a single-handed weapon. Let's give him this. All right, Dorian, we'll come back to you. Sarah, she has a 108 bow. I've got a 128. But I kind of want to give her the silent Jenny, because that seems like she would like it. However, I will go to the highest damage, because I'm greedy. All right, Cassandra, Avenger time. Here you go. That just seems like a Cassandra kind of sword. Very pious and lovely. She has a 16 shield. That's going to be about the best. All right. Iron Bull. Did we figure out anything for him? 192. Yeah, I guess he already has about as good as it gets. All right. Should be able to sell everything else for now. Let me throw a few of these that seem to be more rare items into storage. And then we'll go on a spree. Thank you for bearing with me. Alright, this is... Nice, that's nice. That one. And I think the others can go. Alright. Well, 
Let's see here. Oh, that's just so expensive, it makes me wary of selling it. <laughs> Massively more expensive than any other weapon I own. Let's give that another look, just in case I'm missing something. Otherwise, we should be in pretty good shape. Let me throw some of these in the storage chest, too. We don't need those early, unique armors. Deposit. Deposit. All right. Jump in the tint menu. See if we have any new crafting materials we didn't have before. We do have a few. Oh, I like that gray. That's such a nice, calming color. Or lack of color, as it is. That's very fancy, too. Look at me. Look at my neck and everything. Look at my neck and waist. <laughs> Ooh, I could be just like Josephine, my hero. Oh, that is so rich. Oh, these colors. These gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Oh, I love that, too. Everything is, is so lovely. Okay, I'm seeing a request. So sorry. Uh, let me catch up. Okay, I want, I'm, I'm to read this as, uh, as though it is the last will and testament. Odd. He appears to want to be buried with a large meat hook inserted into his shoulder to, quote, appease the spider god. Hmm. <laughs> is that a last will and testament, reader? Was it not sinister enough? Odd. He appears to want to be buried with a large meat hook inserted into his shoulder to, quote, appease the spider god. Strange and delicious. All right, moving on. <laughs> so sorry. Oh, I've messed it up by backing out, haven't I? All right, let's try this again. There we go. There are so many cool options in here. I'm sorry I'm taking forever, but I don't know how I want this to appear. Let's ch check the main cloth part. We'll see what our options are there. It still doesn't appear that I have any, like, dark, dark black. I've just got that Samite, which is, like, grayish. Hmm. There's the leather part. All right. So it would be kind of nice to have, like, a darker outfit with some red accents eventually. But I still don't have whatever the black-black material is, if indeed there is such a material. Fennec fur is about the closest I've got. So, all right, we'll, we'll keep waiting. But we do have some very cool options in the wings for the uh, secondary fabrics. So everyone should have armor, everyone should have a weapon, except for mages, which we didn't really have anything on. How about... Staff crafting. Let's take a quick adventure into staff crafting together. So our best staff is that 115-ish, lyrium-infused. Let's see here. Fire damage, electricity, cold. 81. I don't have the material for that, so 71 is the highest I've seen. Hmm. I want to do electricity damage if possible. I have a ton of Paragon's Luster, so why not? Let's put a masterwork item in there. Walking bomb I don't need. Maximum stamina. Heal damage. Hmm. Abilities cost less. Mana is a really good one. Especially for a mage. That's a little hard to pass up. All right, let's try that. It's maybe a waste of one of the only uh, instances of that rare masterwork crafting item 
exists in the game, but here we are wasting it. Isn't it going to be fun? Alright, so I can sunder away. That appears to be my only option. I've got the scales for sundering and not much else in stock. Ooh. Little flanking damage in there. Willpower, magic. That's nice. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Let's do that. And. Heal on kill. Extra attack. That's hard to pass up. 12, 14. Yeah, let's do 14. Alright, here we go. A, a huge waste of everything necessary to live. And I'm going to call it, uh. Very grandly. The poker. There we are. Okay. Now that I have the poker, someone else can have my current staff, and I'm hoping there will be a sort of cascading waterfall effect that uh, unfolds. Let's see if this works. So I currently have Blood Wake at 96. I now have the poker at 115. Hooray. Which means... I have a soulless. What does soulless have? 60. That was not ideal. <laughs> Vivian, Sarah... So we got 60, 73, 79. So yeah, I should do soulless for now. And soulless. There we go. Alright, you get Bloodwake. And then Vivian does not need the Magister Ice Staff. I can just move that to my valuables. We'll sell it. So, uh, not quite a cascading effect, but hey, we got one boost. That'll be fine. Sell this Magister Ice Staff. Good, good. And, okay, I'll stop being boring now. Thank you for bearing with me there. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad that that reading went well for everyone. So sorry, catching up on all the hilarity there. Did I have more war table missions? Hmm. The age-old question. This must be the Black Emporium. Yes. All right. So who are we on to next? We got Rainier back, which is great. We still need to tromp him around the Emprise du Lyon, etc. We'll get to that. Unfinished business I sure would like to do. Let's see if we can find one of these. Cassandra deserves a little bit of our attention here. All right. Emerald Graves and... I thought there was one other one. Maybe they're both in Emerald Graves? We'll, we'll see. Hmm. I'm not sure. All right, we should be able to go to this camp. I hope seems to be in a little uh, cliffy hollow there, but we'll figure it out. And I want Cassandra with me. Blackwall's card is much improved. That's fantastic. He is uh, probably definitely on our side. Probably definitely. With a card like that. So let's take Varric with us and... Oh, I can't pass up Dorian. So I have another couple of minutes here, at the very least. Let's see how far we can get towards Cassandra's assassinations. And then we'll make our uh, difficult choices. I must, at some point today, find foodstuffs for to eat. 
for to food stuffs in my face. And I, I can't even imagine where I'm going to begin. I have not been checking my rabbit traps. Nor do I have any rabbit traps or the heart to make any. So, mm. Another lonely, hungry day for me. That's fair. <laughs> I got dark. We're moving on. Alright, so I need to head that way. Let's check in with the uh, requisition officer. Play ring around the rosy with the requisition officer. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. And we're headed this way. And that's it. I guess we're headed another way. All right. <laughs> Maybe we can make it up here. Mm hmm. All right. Hello, my lovelies. Are you enjoying this great day of ours? Mmm, that fresh air. So much oxygen in here. It smells like the tragic death of several thousand elves. Mm. Interesting pile of loot in the middle of this uh, large crater. getting past this. Try over this way. Alright, we'll have to get past the giants and the friendly rhinoceri. Just let those arcane horrors fight amongst themselves. Oh, that'll be fine. All right, let's take this out while we're here, since we skirted around the giants, to preserve our potion stores. Oh, that's uh, a rather... Devastating ice beam. I guess these are rather high level guys, and I did not notice. When I am myself, they're not uh, legendary, like with red skulls on them. Don't go here, but when I was Cassandra, they were, so they must be like one level above me right now. Have to avoid the ice beams in future. Beric, you lovely man. How would you like to have your feet under you? I was a little early with that. Oh well. Let's do one of these just in case. Oh, I want to get two of the cold sorcerers in it if I can. And I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I'll try it again. I might have succeeded in getting none of the cold sorcerers in it. That's not the way to say that, either. I'm just now hearing that out loud. <laughs> Sounds like a way to insult someone. Let's 
just step gently away from Cassandra's lifeless corpse, shall we? Wow, that's really bad for me. All right. <laughs> this is about to be interesting. So yes, apparently that is uh, a much too high level for me to take out right now. Good to know. It's been a while since we've come across one of those, and that's kind of nice. So let's see if we can get past it to the person Cassandra wants me to take down. And then it does look like I'll have to do a war table operation to open Emprise de Lyon in order to get that last one. So let's try this one more time, and then we'll give up if they murder us again. That was quick, at least. <laughs> My apologies for the delay. All right. Let me see how far past this it is. Should be able to skirt around. Maybe off that way. Let's see what this looks like down here. Yeah, we probably want to go up the ridge. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sticks, twigs, creaky. Alright, I'm hoping that this uh, Templar will be less devastatingly powerful than that uh, Rift was. That was the guy, but Cassandra got the killing blow in, so she must feel great. Lovely. So now we just have to open that last spot, which I believe is like a snowy locale. It's rather lovely. We sure can go do that now. As the only other option is to get my ass soundly handed to me again. Oh, thank you. Where do I sign? I say timidly. As I limp home. <laughs> it's going to be fine. I'm, I'm going to be fine. All right. We still have one camp here. You know how I feel about undiscovered camps. Let's uh, race back here real quick. This may be another instance of, oh, you have to... Silly boy, you of course have to develop a political allegiance with the bandits before you can open this stone door. Return to the war table at Skyhold, you fool. It may be one of those, but we'll see. If we can get it, great. Save us some time later. Well, that appears to be a glittery or a chuck or a, or a, or a ch ch you know one of those eyeball thingies it's C coco crisp uh, god one of, or or oreo cri you know one of those eyeball things i guess while we're right here be a shame not to take advantage. Six shards. This is like a Where's Waldo stereogram image. I, I've gone completely blind now. So much foliage. Where are they? Four, five, and six. Hooray. Those should all be on the map now. We continue to the camp. Let's just be behind this ridge. I 
love this spot. Just so lovely to hang out here. Amongst the nugs and things. Nugs and friends. Alright, camp established. That should be all of them in the Emerald Graves. Let's get a quick peek at some snowy environs. Make Cassandra happy, as we can. And, uh, then I'll sadly have to leave you. Fey drifts, ah yes, because I was on camps established. Going back to Skyhold. Just a couple more loading screens, I promise. This has been very nice, and will put us in a good position, I hope, to where Cassandra is at her maximum approval, which will help us uh, heading down towards the end. Getting to the point where we'll have to make a lot of uh, additional choices and decisions about the future of the world. Shame that I'm in charge of it. Ooh. Sorry about that world. All right. We should have plenty of power for this, if I'm remembering correctly. Hard left! Ah! Six power. I don't think it's that one. It must be down here. Liberate Empress de Lyon. That's the one. All right, let me get this real quick. Thank you, Colin. Grey Wardens have taken losses, but their morale remains high, and their loyalty to the Inquisition is undisputed. Lovely. Pursue Marquis Buffon. What a Buffon he's been. The concern is the Marquis. Let's find some information, or the Grey Wardens will do better against demons than normal Inquisition. Soldiers, let them fight through the mountains. Yeah, that sounds about right. Go for it, Cullen. Okay, so I'm sure we'll make a... Uh... Ooh, that sounds interesting. The consequences of Black Wall's lie? It must have required... Cullen, or I guess someone else is busy, too. I guess everyone's busy, so it just requires someone. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, we should get plenty more power, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. We'll unlock a brand new area, and then we'll see if we can very quickly go take out Cassandra's Seeker. Venture forth. All right, Cassandra, let's take Varric. Let's take... Uh, Vivian. We'll enjoy some snow. And this should be our final thing, if we can make it out there. This might be another guy who's blocked behind a thing. And if so, we'll save that for next time. But my goal is to at least maybe get one camp and then take out the Seeker speak with Cassandra, and we'll be done. Thank you for bearing with me. This has just what I needed for a little break between the editing. Though I have held us past the hour here. Slapping myself on the wrist even now. Even as we speak. Inquisitor. Scout Harding. We're on the outskirts of Sarnia. 
This is what's left of the town. The lucky ones got out before the river froze over. The rest, penned in by fade rifts and red templars. We're the first friendly face they've seen in a long, long while. Oh. Could I perhaps uh, offer to warm you in my tender embrace? Is that, is that something you'd be interested in? Once again, we've we've covered before that there is no actual romantic uh, path with Scout Harding, but you can occasionally flirt with her, and I enjoy that. Though I hate to lead uh, lead Scout Harding on, I have genuine feelings for Scout Harding, and and that makes it sound otherwise. It's not true. Are you all right? You look a little cold. Me? I uh. Well, it is a touch chilly. My toes are freezing. <laughs> I can help I'm with that. Sorry. Uh, I mean, you didn't I have some that. socks for you. <clears throat> All right, here I go. Here I come to save the day. Again. That's why we love you. The Red Templars have been mounting frequent oh, attacks. Thanks, Hardy. They want Empress de Leon. Bad. Let's get out there and take it back from them. Always a pleasure. I'm a scout. Have you guys met Muscout? Muscout Harding? That's Muscout. Alright, did we get this camp? We must have. Yes, because I can travel to it. Alright, so we are headed for... Where is Cassandra's thing? I'm still at rifts in emerald graves. That's not going to help me. Here we are. All right, right over there. Not too far at all. That should be just fine. This might so I do need to speak to the townspeople. But I will try to come back and do that, since they appear to be fairly near the camp here. Make a, take them into his hand. Let's go this way. And on to the ice. This is lovely. This is one of my favorite areas. It's always, it always manages to be lovelier than I remember. Just because of the sheer verticality of it. Alright. Saving it just in case. Find a way up to the tower here. Climb your way to battle. That way you'll be all pumped up and ready. There we go. The hunt. Day one, attracted to the edge of High Grove. I know she's here somewhere. I can sense it. Day two, gave me the slip. Oh, she's cunning. Hunter and hunted, round and round in circles. It's a game, a dance, a ritual. It wouldn't be the same without it. Day four, tracks head to the ruins. She might be resting. I need the element of surprise. Leave everything unnecessary behind. Go in light and quick. She's not going to get away. Not this time. That sounds like we're about to run into a nasty beastie. Or to combine those two, a beastie. Hello? Beastie, is that you? Hello, your beastiness. There is no amount of snowy environment that could cool my love for Scout Harding. There is no quantity of ice that could chill my warm feelings for Iron Bull. <laughs> so, sorry, Cassandra, that was your big moment, and I've been making saucy jokes. Uh, apologies. All right, great. Let's see if she has anything to say back in uh, Skyhold. And now we've seen the snowy place. We'll be back to talk to the folks, the good people of Sarnia, about their problems uh, as soon as we can. I promise. Want me to handle that? I do, Varric. I really do. Thank you. Yeah, sure. All right, 
What's up here? Ah, it's a shame to make Varric be the one to climb all these stairs, but eh. He needs the cardio. There we go. That'll do it. Oh, that looks too good to pass up. Okay. A barely intelligible scrawl. They say you shouldn't bring home girls you find near Fade Rifts. I have heard that. But they don't know. I saved Colette. She came from a cold, empty place. No one cared about her. Now she's here, and we'll be together forever. She's all I ever wanted. I know she loves me. I feel her love in everything she does to me, even when it hurts. Oh, especially when it hurts. I've never been happier. This scrawl is barely intelligible. This, uh, oh. Yikes. I mean, I... To remove the axe, does that ruin it? I don't mean to... I don't mean to kink shame here, but can I have the axe? What an interesting tower we've stumbled across. Something kinky is happening here. Let's switch back to Marash for the big moment. A big old unique great axe. All right. Definitely not cursed. Definitely, definitely needs to be washed. Good, good. Oh, hey down there, little buddy. You're adorable. May I come touch your back? With gentle pets? Aww. Aww. <laughs> what a great day. All right, we're headed back to Skyhold now. Just to make sure there's no, like, camp or anything up here I should get while I'm out here. Doesn't seem to be. Are there any camps? This all appears to be red lyrium. Ew. All right. So, let's jump back to uh, Skyhold momentarily. Just to see if Cassandra has anything she would like to say. And if not, we should be done. I will save it and leave us there. Give me one moment, I'll be right back with you. So sorry. Got my last dregs of coffee to see us out. So sometimes the characters seem to have something to say after you do those little side quests, and sometimes they don't. Let's see which side Cassandra falls on. Hello, my sweet. Planning troop movements now? I'm trying to imagine what it will look like when we're done. All of this once belonged to the Tevinta Imperium. And Raste changed that, as did the Blights. As for what will come next, I cannot guess the Maker's plan. Are you sure? You can't even just take a stab at it? Just a little one? No? We make the world a better place. Because everyone agrees on what better means. I know I want a world where people trust the Chantry and that trust is respected. I want to respect tradition, but not fear change. I want to right past wrongs, but not avenge them. And I have no idea if my wanting these things makes any of them right. Hmm. That is really the, the pickle of being alive, isn't it? <sighs> Even if they're not right, they're certainly admirable. Some would disagree. They would call it heresy. It didn't sound like the ravings of a heretic, Cassandra. Perhaps not. 
but it takes precious little effort to paint even an act of compassion as damaging. Tell me, what guides you? You make decisions that shake the world, yet always seem so assured. I wish That's I because I have backup you. saves. It's kind of a, a cheese, I know, but it, it, it helps me in the day-to-day, -day, just to get by. You almost sound like you admire me. I absolutely do. I may not oh, always agree nice. with your decisions, but how many could do what you have done? You were a prisoner, accused and reviled, yet you've emerged from every trial victorious. The Maker's grace does not make you immortal. You live or die by your own hand. That is worthy of admiration. You're going to make me tear up, Cassandra. That's so nice. I didn't know that anyone noticed. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't really do do any specific set of steps. I... I'm not that assured. I just make it up as I go. <laughs> Let all your followers take heart. <laughs> what can I say? It's worked so far. Think of it. This is a lovely Life framing. Andraste long ago. A literal Once again, framing. The fate of Thedas will be determined by a woman. It makes me proud to know you. Thank you. That's that's nice. I appreciate that. We still have a long road to travel, Inquisitor. Wherever it takes us, I'm glad you're here. Man, every time I see those sleeves, I'm impressed anew. Just, oh, show me those sleeves from more angles. Let's spend a half hour. Just lean onto windowsills. That's what I like. A little bit more from Cassandra, our dear friend. Good book. And a big secret oh. about to be revealed. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Wait, are you blushing? What would I have to blush about? You tell me. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and mm -hmm. Shoes, the latest chapter. Mm-hmm. Romantic, is it? You like it? Thrilling? A really uh, compelling protagonist, maybe? Hmm? The latest chapter. Meaning, you've read them all? Not <laughs> since this all began. We've been busy. That's just her favorite. Nobody asked you, Tavinta. <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. <laughs> it's literature. Just let people enjoy things, it's Dorian. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Oh, I wouldn't tell Varric. No, that would be too much for him to handle. Me? No, I would never. <laughs> <laughs> They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. Pretend and what you would you like me to do about it? Me. You want me to go find you an advanced copy of his next chapter? Because I will look around. I, I'm not above looking around for you. I'll check his nightstand. I'll distract him with jokes. You just say the word. Okay, so I can... I got that guilty pleasures thing. Apparently I can tell... Varric. <laughs> Tell Varric about Swords and Shields. The book's unfinished. See Varric about getting the last chapter for Cassandra. Oh, that's so nice. So I would have to violate her confidence to tell Varric that she's a huge fan, but she would get a gift and an advanced copy of the last chapter of the book she's dying for, which, uh, to anyone who loves books, you know is more important than anything. Dignity, friendship, uh, promise... No, the last chapter of a new book. That's Inquisitor. priority. So I cannot wait. All right, we're going to save that for next time, but I am going to activate it here so that I remember. And I cannot wait.
We'll see if we can uh, see our way clear to violate Cassandra's trust in order to get her a gift. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you for hanging out with me and Cassandra and Dorian. Can't forget him. I love you all. I hope you've had a good week, and I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Get something nice to eat, if at all possible, and take care of yourself. Others, maybe. It's optional. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.